Tired of your hard-earned money going to all those access media channels only to be ignored? Are you fed up with needing to hunt down a separate stream for them to finally acknowledge you? Why not consider joining Mecca's channel, dropping a tip in the jar, or showing thanks by using the all-new thanks button? You know you want to see Mecca jiggle. Not only should James Bond not be a woman, but this franchise needs to go away for a while. I'm Mecca, and I'm tired of bad franchises. I'm just tired of the same movie over and over and over again. There's been 17 million James Bond movies. They haven't really been that different from each other. And to tell me why I'm wrong, who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Robot Shlomo, and I'm the resident, uh, at least I was the resident James Bond expert somewhere else. <laughs> you know, currently freelancing, I guess, you know. Uh. So they're they're still on about this James Bond needs to be a woman. Who who wanted James Bond? Nobody said James Bond needs to be a woman, have they? Expert has has anybody? Well, no, not really. But a couple people did agree. You, know, you shove the microphone in front of Pierce Brosnan's face. Should James Bond be a woman? Well, uh, yeah, why, 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 why not? not? I guess yeah. you know? that's what they're gonna say. They're gonna be like, why not? Nobody's actually been pushing for it though. I think, right, right. Nobody's been pushing for this big Bond. No. nobody wants no. this no. anyway. And Even neither does Daniel Craig. He says Bond no. shouldn't be a woman. Nina, right there at your, right at your face, is Lashana Lynch. Mm. It shouldn't be a woman. <laughs> well, she's the one telling us all to know our place and stay in our lane. I don't sit there in a theater listening to a bunch of women tell james bond what to do i mean that's that's really the end of this is if they're trying to do that with this franchise then stop making the franchise if you need to adjust and adapt bond for the quote-unquote me too era you're missing the point of the franchise i think you know I i'm perfectly fine with james bond going away for a little while yeah not necessarily permanently but just just the, okay let's just put it in the vault let it sit there until we're ready to bring it back. Until all this wokeified stuff is just kind of run its course, and we stop renaming things. You know, non-specific, gender binary, neutral. You know, secret agent person engaging in heroic activities. Mm. Film. You know. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because we're just too sensitive. We've got we've got so we've got it so good as a society that we got to worry about stupid crap like this. And anybody who anybody who tells you otherwise, I'm like, this is the shit we're worried about as a society. I think we have it pretty damn good. Remember the you know the saying first world problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a classic definition of first world problems. Nobody actually even wants Bond to be a woman, and there. now I gotta dig him out of retirement, quote unquote, to get an article about. <laughs> there, there's the title for this video: First World World Problems. James Bond should not be a woman. Ah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh... Daniel Craig would rather see the sky fall than watch James Bond. Be played by a woman. The former on-screen James Bond told, or they're referring to him as the former now. The former. Some, yeah, yeah. Dig his grave already while he's. At, well, I think these are, are all, these are all articles that would have been out around the time this would have been hitting DVD shelves. Because remember how mm -hmm. many times they pushed it back? That's another problem. They pushed it back so many times. We've broken the habit of going to the theater every month. Yeah, it, it's it's called no time to care now. Really. <laughs> Well, anyway, why should a woman play James Bond when uh, when there should be a part just as good as James Bond but for a woman? Okay, that's not unfair. Craig's statement comes uh, the week before the release of the subsequent Bond film, No Time to Care, which premiered in theaters October 8th, hopefully. <laughs> well, comments it's so the close to where I think it's actually going to be released now. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people are going to be rushing out during the, uh, the, the, um, <laughs> whichever, whichever hysterical reaction you have to it one way or the other. I don't think that anybody is going to be rushing out to see this movie. This isn't going to be a, um, I'm going to risk my health to see Bond, especially not ugly Bond, especially not Daniel Craig. who looks like he was beaten up in a soccer riot Bond. Hmm. His comments echo those of franchise producer Barbara Broccoli, who told Variety in 2020, James Bond can be of any color, but he's male. 
That's not going to sit well. I Anita Sarkeesian right now is just is just somewhere just just reing. seating. Reing she's in reing. Her, in her hole. She's reing. She's shaking in her renus. <laughs> her renus is she's is shaking off the scale. in her renus. She, she's reef. literally shaking. He could be a woman. He could be a woman. No, no. Does Mary Sue have a counter to this? Let's see what they have a response. I don't know. Probably. I'm gonna look. Is... I'm gonna look while you talk. Read the article. Okay, we'll read. We'll continue reading said article. I believe we should be creating new characters for women, strong female characters. She told Variety, referring to Barbara Broccoli. She, t- uh, I'm not. I thought we already did with Bond girls. They were like the classic strong female characters. Oh well, that's not good enough. <sighs> they have to take th- they have to take things away from the male characters. See, that's the problem I have. Representation and inclusion and diversity should never, ever, ever take away from something else. Ever. Ever. And if you're taking away or marginalizing somebody else out of this petty need for revenge and re and getting back at the patriarchy and daddy, then you're missing the point of inclusion and diversity. And you're actually the istophobe that you claim to be against. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, I'm not particularly interested in taking male character and having a woman play it. I think women are far more interesting than that. But but now, Lashana Lynch, insert your joke here, could be the next 007. No, she can't. No. In notes, of the, well, and they referred to her in a trailer as the new 00. What 00? We don't know yet. Well, I think they're going to have her be the 007 because he's off in retirement. Well, we already have, have the plot leaks, right? Yeah, yeah, they have the, we have the plot leaks. Yeah, supposedly that James is in the, in M's office. Come in, 007, in in walks Lashana Lynch. Duh, you know, like with that blank stare on her face. So I mean, I don't know. I don't capture. She doesn't look like she wants to be there. And and if anybody yeah. is trying to imply anything other than we are irritated with an actress who is rolled out on a red carpet who looks like they want to be anywhere else. Then you're making that up in your own head. And I know my viewers don't, but the randos who click on these videos and go, re and ist and phobe, don't understand things. So they have to have things explained to them at a very, very <laughs> low remedial level of it's not related. She just looks like she doesn't enjoy her job. That's no. all. <laughs> and she doesn't look like she's very, very interested in being an, an actress and a movie star. She has the enthusiasm of a Home Depot employee Hung over on New Year's Day. She really does. <clears throat> like, why do I have to be here? That's that's really what all it looks like. And if people are like, you're just sitting on your body shape. No. How can Where you would... how can you pick on somebody's any how can you apply any ethnical or ethnicity or 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 gender anything to an attitude? What kind of person applies that to an attitude? Oh, well, I don't know. Well, uh, anyway, in No Time to Die, West uh, London actress, 33, will play an MI6. Now, see, look, M16. No, not M16. MI6. MI6 <laughs> is a... Br- <laughs> MI5 is domestic intelligence or the FBI. Uh-huh. MI6 is the Secret Service. Agent named Nomi, according to The Guardian, with rumors speculating that she will inherit the 007 title from Bond in the film, making her the first woman to play a- the well-known agent character. To Lynch, anyone can play the iconic Bond role because no matter what, audiences will still watch films of a franchise. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, 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 no. Nobody wants to see James Bond as a guest star in their own movie. No. No. Sorry. That's, that's the issue with all of these. They always make like your your main star as a guest star in their movie. Mm-hmm. They did that yeah, with, the... with what? Solo? They did that with... Yeah. I was just about to say, all those people really flock to go see uh, the Han Solo so- solo movie. Uh, did yeah. you lose eighty million? <laughs> Something <laughs> close to that. I think I thought more than a hundred, like close to a hundred. But anyway, well, anyway, with Bond, it could be a man or a woman. No, because it's James Bond. It's a man. It's a man. It's an actual person. It's a character. They could be white, black, Asian, mixed race. They could be young or old. At the end of the day. Even if it's a two-year-old playing Bond, everyone would flock to the cinema to see what the two-year-old's going to do. No, they won't. Keep telling yourself that to make yourself feel better. They won't. And I'm going to laugh when that happens. She added, we are, we are in a place in time where the industry is not just giving audiences what it thinks the audience wants, but actually giving the audience what they want to give the audience. Oh, oh, what they want to give the audience. 
Oh. Oh, s- sit down and you'll like this. You'll eat your vegetables even though you ordered a steak because it's good for you. Yeah, I want my junk food though. I want I want to have the option <clears throat> of having a bad movie. And if I don't have that option, then these movies to get you go away and think about what they did. Because <laughs> if I got to get out the writing crop on a freaking Bond article, you know things are bad when I got to take out the writing crop and give Bond a what for. Right? This is a man that should be just whisking us away on adventure. This shouldn't be a lesson, an education, a lecture. I don't want to hear it, all right? Let's... I want my right to choose to turn off the propaganda, the lectures, telling me I'm horrible because <laughs> I'm tired of hearing it. Let's read that again, just for good measure. Mm-hmm. We are in a place in time where the industry is not just giving audiences what it thinks the audience wants. They're actually giving the audience what they want to give the audience. Now, I don't know if I'm reading that correctly. What they want to give the audience, not what the audience they wants. They want to give the audience. No, they're making the movies that they want to make for their little bullshit and, and narratives and this shit. That's what they want. They don't want to give us entertainment. They don't want to give us stuff that can elevate and bring us together. They want to preach and divide and demoralize all of us just to make all the loony people with the tinfoil hat look correct. So all these people can go, see, see, it's a grand thing that the Marxists are going to get us and the Marxists and the, and the SJWs and they're going to get us and they're going to turn us all into crop farmers or something. I don't know what the hell the conspiracy is, but that's what's happening right here and I'm tired of it. You're making the crazy people look right. Don't make the crazy people look right and I'm not in focus. <laughs> well, this is all, like I said, this is also the Shauna Lynch can, can go to cocktail parties and in the in like in, so like a parade her uh, around like a purse puppy i mean if she wants to be a purse Same. puppy an accessory i'm not gonna tell any person who is not me how to live their life and what they can do if they want to have that if they want to be paraded out like the hunger games or something then they can do that that's their business i have a non-binary person of color in my movie well i have <laughs> a transgendered little person in my movie ha <laughs> ha well done cheerio good chap <laughs> this collecting freaks at the freak show is all they're doing in Hollywood. And I hate Ladies, using that terminology, but that's how they look at us. That's how they Ladies, see us. Yeah. Because I've been a victim of that in the anti-SJW movement, too. I've been on shows where I'm the token LGBTQ, LMNOPXYZ person or the whammon or whatever. Yeah. And it's yeah, not yeah, very yeah. fun. And I don't like that. It's it's like we're back to PT Farm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here a spectacular feature attraction. We have the first transgendered woman of color to play 007. Marvel and gaze at the incredible Loa Chawana. I don't know. It's... <laughs> And I got replaced by more diverse people than that. More diversities. But that's what it is. That's what it is. They're parade. Yeah, this is their own. I hate saying this is their own. Welcome to the freak show, everybody. <laughs> it's moved from it's moved from the 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 midway to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, and they're just tr- they're just trotting us out. Like, look, look at all the people that we need to treat like they have special needs because of the color of their skin, according to now, Hollywood. That's what it really comes name. down to. They're treating people, they're parading people out. How can they parade people what? out like a special need case based on the color of their skin or based on their diversity, based on their gender, based on their label? Now, let me keep in mind, we're not calling the actors. No, I'm calling out Hollywood. I'm calling out Hollywood for doing this crap. We're not calling them the freak show. We are calling Hollywood the freak show. Because they're the ones that are actually exploiting people. Yeah. We totally get what you're doing. You guys guys think that you're better than us. And you have to use and exploit us for all. Like, that's what Hollywood does. They all think that they're better than us. You know, uh, Hollywood in L.A., it's a city built on... Uh, the and uh, and dead prostitutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, and and they have the nerve to tell us um, that they have the moral high ground. You don't. You don't. You don't follow your own rules. You have all these exceptions because you think you're better than us, and I'm tired of it. You're not, and I'm not gonna kiss your butt to get access to have any of you people on my show. That's not gonna happen, all right? I'm gonna tell it like it is. I'm gonna be brutal, and if I'm gonna ruffle a few feathers, that's who I am. Mm-hmm. And I've gone on too long about this.
And to think, we didn't want to talk about this. Yeah, I didn't have that much to say. I guess I had a rant in me, huh? Bond, go away. We will not miss you. Yeah. For, <laughs> because there's 27,000 other movies of Bond that I can watch and fall asleep to. Good. <laughs> and this is the end, Mr. Bond. Uh, Goodbye. Get out of here, Bond. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. We live in a society, Batman.